Yes, so welcome people. Thank you for joining me once again. Today is Labor Day. And in a special way, I want to honor all those people who labor out there. Maybe you wake up early morning and you go to teach. You wake up and you're an accountant. You wake up and you go, you know, just to build the house. Whatever thing that you are doing, we want to take this opportunity to appreciate you for all the work you do. Everything that we do is something valuable. Whether you're just a toilet cleaner, whether as long as you're doing something, we want to take this day to celebrate you in a very special way. Yeah, but on this very note also, because today is Labor Day, I felt for a person that we need much more to celebrate the people who labor for us in the Lord. Imagine, when do we get time to appreciate them so on this labor day because i know that focus will be everywhere i want us to take this time to just appreciate anybody out there who labors for the lord maybe it's the pastor maybe it is someone who works full-time at church and this episode is designed for for those who say to encourage them to appreciate them yeah and at the end of this episode i'll leave you a challenge to please at least reach out to to someone who labors in the Lord and in a special way appreciate the weather through an encouragement, whether through in any way you feel like, yeah. So I even have still Pastor Moses back here because he's also one of those people who labor in the Lord. Thank you, Pastor, for laboring You're for welcome. us in the Lord. You're yeah. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. I may we may maybe we don't get really many very many opportunities to appreciate but really appreciate the work that you are doing yeah and i know you guys go through a lot you know having family having all these things but you take you sacrifice the time to come and labor in the lord for us because for us you come to service and you get a word and you say ah, i think god was thinking about me did pastor look into my life because yeah yeah so there are, there are very many times like that where we as Christians come in and you feel like this word was for me. This is God speaking to me. So you guys do such a great job. And even right now, I just want you to encourage all those who labor out there in the Lord with a word or two or something. Yeah, maybe you can even, I can use this, we can use this opportunity and you tell us, um, maybe you can tell us some of the, 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 the what how okay how easy is it to do this and what are, okay what are the easy things that you face the uh the benefits of this and also some of the hardships you go through and then just an encouragement okay thank yes. you thank you for appreciating and honoring <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh and uh, uh, yeah and uh, uh i'm privileged that uh uh, Maureen thinks I am a laborer in the kingdom of God. Um, I was preaching with someone uh, a week ago or, um, for, for you who are watching this episode. Now, uh, it must be a month or two months ago, I was uh, uh, talking about the harvest is not for everyone. And uh, one of the first things was it's not for Christians. Yeah, um, And then I said it's for laborers. Laborers. So... Um, uh, I sense that uh, for all of you who are out there and you're laboring, uh, even if you are laboring in your workplaces, um, you are doing a good job. And uh, I honor you. I respect you uh, in whichever capacity you're doing it. I, I, I feel that uh, um, we, we need to teach people to learn to labor because where we do not labor, there are no results. Uh, it's a mantle I feel uh, pushed to. Uh, someone asked me a question the other day, and they asked me, Pastor, do you have any guys at your church that do not have something to do, any guy I can use to do manual work? And then, honestly, in my mind, I started to rest to think of just one guy. I can give this guy on short notice, and I didn't think of any person. So, um, I mean, we, I thank God for that, that uh, at least most of, we don't have redundant guys who are mm -hmm. there, uh, every one of them. Uh, I mean, we've had guys who have come here and they're just there, but in just two, three weeks, one month, two months of being around here, because the culture here has been built to every man must work. 
so they get a job, etc. So uh, we, we all need to labor, we all need to work. Uh, and uh, through this, we'll get a harvest. Um, now, it's not easy, Maureen. It's difficult, um, especially to labor uh, in the kingdom of God. I, I always, you know, admire people who um, go back to their home at a particular time and, uh, you know, wake up at a particular time and go to work, you know, and, and do the work. And, uh, uh, you know, another person has to worry about the focus, what, what. You know, for them, they just come, they do a particular task, and that's it. And then they go back home. They spend time with their family, you know, Monday to Friday, and then they can, you know, do go to church, and then, you know, things like that. Um, I admire that. Now, there's, of course, a level in, in, in every season of labor. Yeah. and uh, But for some of us, we've not been called to that. Yeah, you'll be in your bed, and the church member will call you, and you have to respond. Yeah. yeah. You have to encourage them. And somehow Christians, we can, you know, want, I need pastor to say something You know, this. you know, so it's, it's, and, and, and unfortunately, uh, um, when Alfred calls me at 3 a.m., Maureen won't know. Yeah. So Maureen won't know to appreciate that actually there's a labor in the night that happens for pastor that I never get to see. Yeah. Um, um, so it, it's, 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 it's difficult in the sense, not in the sense that you're not appreciated, uh, uh, but you, you, you end up doing a lot of things in the secret. And then when someone wants you to come through because you were there for another thing, then you can't be there for this thing. And then people take offense, etc. Um, but also because you, you are waging uh, war on the enemy's camp. So you become the first target. Yeah, uh, as... In, in just the first few days, we had many lives come to the Lord uh, out because of the campaign we were doing called The Return. And uh, my wife was just sick all through that, that season. Yeah. Sorry. That's when her car got vandalized. That's when these things were happening. Yeah. So you, 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 you're the target for the enemy because you're also uh, uh, waging war in his camp. Um, um, so it's not easy, it's difficult that way. But there's something I've been telling myself. Um, I was talking to my mentor, and uh, they were seeing me doing this and doing that. So they asked me, where do you get the time to do all these things? Yeah, they were telling me, you're busy. Yeah, and I know you've mentioned it occasionally. I, I told them, I am not busy. If I make time for you, it means you. that's how important you are to me. Yeah. So I could have been in so many places right now. And one of those places I could have been with my wife, could have been with my son, but you're equally important. So I've given you my time. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and, and, and so, so I, I, I am, I'm, yes, I am busy. There are things I'm going to do. But if I give you my time, I'll make the time and then I'll, 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 I'll do the outcome. I'll give you uh, the results that you require from me. Uh, but 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 uh, as so my wife called me at that same time she told me no honey you've been working so much this whole week mm -hmm. Wh when are you going to rest and i told her something i told her a man has to work yeah and i want to tell that to every laborer who is out there a man has to work and i told her i wish someone taught us this like as young men i wish someone looked me in the eye and told me you're a man and you must work you must work. And I was telling my wife, a man cannot depend on just one source of income. That's too limited for them. You are not going to buy your wife a car, build your, your house, and, 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 and you know, do all these things with just one source of income. It cannot do that. Yeah? You would have to be a politician. Yeah? You, you have to, to become corrupt. You would have to do all these funny things. Yeah? So, so, so I was telling my wife, no, 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 no. A man must labor. Yeah, a man must do extra things. So I am doing gigs, Maureen, where you do not see me in office. I am out there fetching for my family. Yeah, where you do not see me seated in this chair. I am out there uh, 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 getting things done for my house. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I am laboring. So I do not just labor in the kingdom of God. I am into real estate. I was telling you about a property uh, uh, 
uh, hopefully by the time people will be seeing this it would have been already signed amen yeah, yeah. so men out there i hope you're learning something yeah so 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 a man must labor yeah and a when man i say must labor yeah and when i say a man i'm really saying it the biblical way uh, yeah man and woman <laughs> <laughs> No, but 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 okay. even more important, uh, yeah. Because for for us here in our church, uh, we 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 really focus on men being providers and breadwinners for their families. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we know it happens elsewhere differently, where a woman is you know fetching the bread for the family. Um, uh, I think it's good uh, if a woman can chip in, but uh, um, uh, not solely when when she's the only one who is chipping in. Mm-hmm. A man must come forth, and a man must come forth bigger for their home and 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 take care of their house so that's why i keep saying this statement a man must labor must not it's not an option for you to labor guys so so as even as you are seated here on your couch you know thinking of labor day thinking on what you're going to do look here dude uh or oh, oh, woman or oh, wherever you're at do you actually deserve a labor day do you actually deserve a holiday? You, wow, that is a very nice question, actually. Yeah. Do you deserve labor day? No, do you? Do you? Because it's for laborers. Do we deserve? Oh, my God. Yeah. Do, do you actually really labor? Yeah. Do you labor yourself crazy? Because why they even have to create a day? Because men are laboring day and night. They do not have a moment to catch a nap. So they're like, man, let's just create one day in a year where a man can just sit home. Because it's not there. And some even today, they are not seated. So, yeah, yeah. Their, their shops are open. They are out there. You know, no, or, or they are saying, okay, now I have another opportunity to go to my farm and take care of my chickens. Yeah. Or I have an opportunity now. Let me go and do this extra gig here. Yeah. That's a laborer. And for me, I appreciate every man like that. I appreciate any man that goes the extra mile to bring in an extra source of income. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I just want to really just on this day really encourage someone out there, labor. Labor yourself crazy. I, I don't know what to tell you. Guys, I am a pastor. I, I do all sorts of things to bring food on the table for my family. I don't care how low it is, Maureen. Yeah, I always told people, I, I, I wouldn't care if fam, someone found me pottering on a building just to bring in a 10K for my home because it's not there. So I will go and potter on a building just to bring it for that day because it's not there. Yes. I, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care if someone, you know, I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, you know what, the, the times when you really don't have money and then you have this car, like, can I just sign up for Uber so that in such times I can just click on and just go make a few 20, 50 Ks and then come back home with some ice cream to my son, yeah? Like, like you must labor, a man must labor. A man must labor and he who does not labor shall not eat, yeah? Should not eat. So if you've not labored for that day, you tell yourself, I'm not going to eat. <laughs> Even if there is food in the, in the fridge. In the fridge. Yeah, because oh I've not God. labored. Eh? This is the discipline I'm telling myself. Because I've not labored. Yeah. No, why am I paying myself? Why am I paying myself with a meal which I did not labor for? Yeah. Uh, uh, so again, thank you guys. But I feel like this is more like an evaluation. Uh, more than just an encouragement, Maureen, mm. that uh, we need to evaluate our labor because uh, we've, 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 we've drawn back in so many ways. We've uh, cheated on ourselves. We've cheated on our time. We've cheated on everything we can cheat on. So let's go back to the labor, guys. Uh, uh, tomorrow is not a la- it's, it's not a, a, a labor day. You know, they call it a labor day because they want you to rest. So because every other day is a labor day, yeah, that where you have to labor. You have to yeah. Do. So I, I, I don't even like how this day was named. They should have named it a. off day. Off resting yeah. day. Or yeah, something. resting day. Wow. Because any other day is a labor, a labor day. day. Yeah, so a day that's not a labor day is a labor day. So, so please go and labor. Go and labor for the kingdom of God. Go and labor for your family. Guys, do an extra thing. This is my message for someone here find another source of income you cannot just depend on one you you ask yourself in the night while people are sleeping what else can i do what job can i take on what thing on and what other source of income can i bring in yeah well so pastor thank you so much for that but 
you as you were speaking actually a question came to my mind and just before we close this mm. episode yeah okay laboring how do i balance the laboring and also getting time for god because many times we 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 tend to now want to be into this thing but also forget yeah. a bit of Christ. Yeah. So how yeah. what is the balance because I know it's important to labor but yeah. it's also important to get some time for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, Maureen, that's so key. Uh and uh, I think this is where people enter that that the the the, the rat race which is endless and never uh, gets to a place where it satisfies you. Yeah, and uh, so so there's a balance that we need to strike. Yeah, you don't get, want to get caught into chasing the money. Yeah, what's enough money? There's no figure to that, Maureen. Yeah, because you have a billion today, and tomorrow you say my next goal is two billions. You have two billions the next day, and you say, say like, ten yes, billions. Yeah. You have ten billions, and you're like a trillion. It's never satisfying. No, it will never be. So um, we we need to. Uh, form the balance for ourselves and say that okay you know what uh, I'm going to discipline myself and say this time I've cut out for God and even when a labor comes on that time you discipline yourself enough to tell yourself to, to say no like for example has given an opportunity to make an extra uh, 1.5 million a month yeah on top of everything else I earn and i say no so because if i gave that time it was going to eat up on my time with god it was going to eat up on my prayer life it was going to eat up on my family time my time with my son today i spent a few hours with my son it was good he enjoyed it he liked it yeah we spent a day together and and i i think he did enjoy it yeah but i would not be able to do that yeah because i'm busy chasing the paper yeah but for to whom i'm chasing the paper for this guy so if i can't even be around to teach him uh quality time with his children then what am i mentoring him for yeah so we you 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 have to create that in your in your, your your geometry whichever way that is whether it's going to be a saturday it's going to be a saturday and a sunday uh, i i don't believe people should labor on a sunday uh, uh that's that's my personal philosophy mm-hmm. i think that's a day any person who is smart enough to tell themselves regardless of what this day is for god like period yeah so if any gig comes on that day we're like forget it now for me that's my labor day <laughs> yeah so cuz i'm not trusting on monday yeah. yeah maureen wants to see you alfred wants to see you yeah and etc this married couple wants to see you uh, people want to go, you to bless them on that day so i'm working but on Monday I'll be resting. Yeah. Of course I can take up a few gigs here and there, but I I I emphasize that Monday for me that will be the time I want to rest. I want to spend time with my family. So in whichever scale of your work maybe you're a pastor, so you need to get that day where you're like okay this is going to be that day I'm going to be with God. So on that day you will spend more time with God. You will uh spend more time with yourself. You will um not just the discipline to just slow down. I'll end with this, and I hope really this helps someone. I read a story in a book um, uh, by uh, Mark Buttonson uh, called The Wild Goose. Um, this book uh, told of a story of um, a particular group of slaves that were being shipped from Africa to the West, and when these when these slaves walked for a certain time. They stopped. They paused, and they told their people. So these guys beat them. They whooped them. They did all sorts of things, and they did not move. They did not. They stayed in the same place. So one of the guys stood up and told these guys that we have to catch up with our spirits. We cannot move ahead of our spirit. We have been walking for this far, and we've left our spirits behind. behind. we need to catch up with them and the only way we catch up with them is by pausing ah man that thing struck me morin it really humbled me slowing yeah. down yeah it really did humble me and morin every week you need to slow down yeah as a worshipper 
uh, you're, you're into the market world, you do Monday to Friday, and then weekend, your Sunday and Saturday. No, you need to catch a moment every week. And find yourself. Yeah, yeah, and slow down. Wow. Yeah, and tell yourself, this is my slowing down. I am catching up with my spirit. Yeah, I am, I am finding myself. I like that you use that statement. So, 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 so these guys, out of this group, out of the many groups of slave, 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 uh, slaves who would leave Africa, this particular tribe, they would not lose any slave on their way to the West. Mm. Every, every other group would lose people. People would die of hunger. People, not really hunger, but people would just die of depression. Mm. People would die, you know, thinking about their families. You know, people would be killed along the way. This particular group, they were so solid within themselves. They had inner peace. Even if they had been separated from themselves, from their family, even if they were laboring as slaves, yeah, the f- very fact that they would always pause to catch themselves, it pushed them ahead. Yeah. So if you're not pausing, let me tell you, uh, you are actually on a slow journey. To death. To yeah. Death. No, 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 no. You're simply on a slow journey. Your, 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 your journey is slow. Whether it's going to be, yeah, and of course, you're, you're still digging down your, your, your grave. Yeah. But, but what I'm, I'm meaning is that your progress is slow. Yeah. But when you slow down, you have a fast progress. Yeah, I, I, that's another thing we need to break down, Maureen. I, I don't even have time to, I, I want it, the day is not enough. Just the idea of when you slow down, you're actually progressing. Wow. And when you do not slow down, yeah, uh, I will, let me just use this analogy and we shall end it to this, yeah. There's this video, and many of you have probably seen it, of a kid who runs and then hands over the baton to another kid. Yeah, and the kid begins to run very fast, but in the opposite direction. Wow. Yeah, so, 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 yes, you're running, but yes. as you're running, because you have been running and course. running and running, sometimes you need to pause and ask yourself, am I running in the right direction? Because you may be running, but you're going backwards. Yeah, so this is the importance of slowing down. Slowing down is to pause, evaluate, am I actually still on course, Maureen? Yeah, because I may be doing this for a whole week, but maybe I'm doing it for on the wrong course. So then you go back on the right course and slowing down with God, uh, you tell yourself, am I doing the right thing at the right time? Yeah, and then evaluate. This week, did I pray well? Was I consistent in my prayer? Was I consistent in my Bible study? Then also in my personal development, yeah? Did I read a book? Yeah. Did I did do these things? Did I did I do the things that I think are important to me? Yeah. And then if I didn't do them, then you for the next week you tell yourself, okay, last week I think I took a few steps back. Now I need to take a few steps few forward. Steps to go yeah. No need to go in this. Wow. I cannot add anything on that. What you cannot do is to live here without subscribing. If you <laughs> yeah. have not yet subscribed, yeah. just run right now because otherwise you're going to miss out on all the powerful episodes that will be coming in. Yeah, we've had a great opportunity with Pastor Mons. And so and thank you so much for joining us. Thank yeah. You, so that is all we had for you guys. Happy Labor Day and blessings to every laborer out there. Yeah. And to all the men, I hope you took this advice very seriously. All mm. the men, yes, mm. whether you're a woman or man, everything. And happy Labor Day. Please don't forget the challenge. Reach out to someone who labors in the Lord and just appreciate them in a special way. God. And guys, support Maureen. Please uh, uh, like, share, mm. subscribe. I just want to encourage uh, any person who is out there. Um, I, I, I don't think there are so many platforms like this in this country yes. uh, uh, or even on, on, on YouTube uh, that will uh, put such a challenge for you to keep flying on a weekly basis. You know, and I feel like these are some of the things people should do as a point of slowing down. Yeah. Wow. Do personal development on God's own, on, 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 on this yes. channel, yeah? Come on this channel and develop yourself every week, Amen. every Monday. You, yeah, you, you're just here, you're starting just the week and you just pick up yourself. And I think, you know, you're doing a good thing. Uh, so whoever is not on this and following this and doing it religiously, 
you're missing out on on the big you things. Are missing. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much, Pastor, once mm. again for the opportunity. And guys, thank you so much for being that person who has been here all throughout. We are so grateful. And that is all we had for you. Happy Labor Day. See you.